Hey. Oh, hey. Where are you going? To work. Dressed like that? So? Dude, you look ridiculous. You're a cameraman. Go change. All right. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. How many times in my videos have I had to address the reasons behind why I have yet to do a Burna video? So many of you have asked and keep asking me, and I've always promised that sooner or later, the day would come. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Berna finally contacted me, and here we are with a box full of goodies. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, come a little bit closer. What do we have here? We're gonna have a look at this in a second. Let me move that one over. This is what is so interesting to me. These are 12 gauge, less lethal kinetic shotgun rounds. Yes, indeed, these are shotgun rounds. You put them in a 12 gauge shotgun. However, they are intended to be less lethal rounds. Um, we'll be having a much better look at these once I get me a shotgun, which I never ever thought that I was going to get a shotgun, given that this is an air gun channel. Uh, but again, we do cover almost everything less lethal. So it's time for me to get a shotgun. Anyway, so we can put these up for one of my next videos. Well, for this video, we have 12 gram CO2 cartridges by Berna. I had no idea they made CO2 cartridges. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cartridges. That should be enough for today's test. They sent also some extra ammo. Um, these are what look to be pretty intense pepper balls because it says basically to only use in self-defense or if you are in law enforcement. So we might not use these today. We'll probably be using these instead, which are just some plain powder balls. They act the same. They, uh, they kind of have the same effect uh, visually, but obviously these will burn while these will not. And finally, these are kind of Berna's typical um, ammunition. I've heard great things about them, known as the gray ones. Um, I think they're made of nylon. I'll have a deeper look in that. Um, but they thank you for sending all this extra ammo. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time to open this box, guys. I am actually really, really excited. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. So we have two extra Berna 12 gram CO2 cartridges. We have the launcher, which I cannot wait to hold. Look at that, we have an extra magazine. We have a Berna logo, which doesn't come out, and some extra ammo, which is more of the gray ones. Eco Kinetic, I'll have to read more about these, and your regular pepper balls. So I know that most of you are very familiar with Berna launchers, but for those of you who, like me, are actually seeing one for the first time, well, Berna is one of the world's leading brands uh, when it comes to less lethal technology. And it's a brand that is made right here in the United States. And Berna says that their launchers are used by more than 300 law enforcement agencies around the world. And today we're going to test this ourselves so we can finally come down with our own conclusions. So let me do a quick walk around and talk about some of the features of this Berna LE, which stands for Law Enforcement, as this model is said to be the most powerful, up to 60% more powerful than all the other models. As you see, I was given the orange one. Not my favorite color, but I'll admit that I feel they actually pulled it off with this orange-black blend quite nicely, but rest assured, there is indeed also a black version out there. This is a MagFed 7-shot launcher in 68 caliber, and it only shoots round balls. I repeat, only spheric projectiles. 
It has a safety on both sides of the gun. It is powered by CO2, 12 gram CO2 cartridges to be exact. So just like Umarex's T4E series, the Berna is also considered to be a home defense or self-defense CO2 air gun or launcher. And that is simply because you're able to uh, put in a CO2 cartridge, uh, stick it in here and leave it unpierced until the moment of need. And when that comes, you have a very quick system of piercing. Uh, so far, most of the guns we've seen on this channel, you have to bump uh, some part of the gun, which is usually uh, the, the bottom of the grip, uh, in order to pierce the CO2. As we'll see in a second, Berna has a different system, which makes it even quicker. So this right here is the CO2 compartment. And unlike other makers, you do not need an Allen key to open it. You just use the magazine, which has this little tool right here to unscrew that compartment. Once you have opened it up, you insert your 12 gram CO2 cartridge neck first, and you close it back up. And voila, the CO2 is now inside of the gun. However, it is unpierced. Um, now we can leave this gun stored for a very long time in a drawer, in a safe, the CO2 will remain uh, sealed inside of the cartridge. Now, there are two things we can do at this point to arm the gun, and that really depends on our urgency. Um, so, if we are in emergency and we need to immediately shoot the gun, well, in that case, we take it off the safe and we pull the trigger. What that does is it both pierces the CO2 cartridge and shoots the first projectile. However, it shoots it out at around half the power. Now, should we have a bit of extra time instead, uh, then what we do is we keep it on safe, we pull the trigger, which will automatically pierce the CO2 cartridge, but will not shoot the first cartridge. We then take it off the safe, start shooting, and at that point, every single shot will be at full power. But let's face it, the reason we are all here is actually power. We want to see how powerful this thing actually is. And for that, we'll be subjecting this Berna LE to the usual Airgun Alley tests so that you can come up with your own conclusion. So as we said, Berna already sets you up from the get-go as it provides you with some projectiles already. It's a bit weird because the gun shoots seven and they give you five of each. Nevertheless, you are already equipped with your basics, which are the kinetic projectiles, these eco uh, ones, and then the pepper balls. Um, today, I am going to start off with the kinetic projectiles. Uh, they also sent me uh, 95 extra ones. Let's see how much they weigh. Two ninety. Let's try another one. Two ninety one. So right under three grams. So we're going to start with the coconut, of course, and I'm going to shoot it in both ways. I'm going to shoot the first seven rounds uh, with the kind of emergency mode, which is pull out the gun, remove the safety, shoot the first shot and keep shooting. As I said earlier, that first shot is going to be only half powered. Um, and then I'm going to take out the CO2, uh, put a fresh one and shoot it the second way, which is pierce the, the CO2 first and then shoot at full power. The loading cannot be any simpler. You release the magazine by pushing the mag release and then you simply push in the balls one by one until you reach seven. And voila, we are loaded. All 
right? This is exactly what we like to see here at Aragon Alley. And also Berna did not let down. Look at that. This is an extremely hard Dominican Republic coconut, as most of you guys know. And I have to rewatch the slow-mo, but I think uh, the first shot did not do much to it. Um, again, that was a half powered shot um, while the rest of them, <laughs> as you can see, you don't need me to explain. So I'm going to shoot another coconut. This time I'm going to uh, arm the CO2 first. Uh, I'm going to pierce the uh, CO2 cartridge first and then start shooting. So instead of getting six full shots and a half, we should be getting seven full shots. Oh, and by the way, here's a ball. I haven't noticed it. And it looks in perfect conditions very much reusable as well. I have to go look for the other ones. I think uh, I missed a few times compared to the first shoot. Nevertheless, look at that damage. Um, I mean, these are nylon, not even three grams, super, super lightweight nylon balls making this that much damage. I've been shooting from about 15 feet, uh, which is about less than five meters. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this is just really stunning damage and accuracy, I have to say, uh, I've been obviously using the sights out of the gun and I've been hitting this small coconut from 15 feet. So again, great accuracy, great, great power. I now want to try shooting this giant butternut squash. As you know, the butternut squash is of the pumpkin family, which has a very, very hard skin, uh, almost woodish, but it's also uh, well, penetrable so once you once you go through the skin you do have some softness inside so I'm just curious to see what our seven projectiles will do to this butternut squash from our Berna LE Okay, did I say I was gonna shoot seven shots? Well, I ended up shooting 14, AKA two magazines. And look at that. Again, this is incredibly hard skin. So I'm just gonna let you guys kinda judge what these projectiles shot by this launcher could do. All right, folks, now to the, probably what is the most effective type of projectile that one can shoot with these CO2 powered air guns, and that is pepper balls. Um, there, are, there are a whole variety of them out there, a whole variety of brands that make them. Uh, Berna itself has also a variety. Uh, they sent me these Max projectiles right here. Uh, they are, the balls are half blue, half gray. I'm not sure if you can see it. And they also sent me these pepper projectiles, which are red and gray or red and black as well. So Berna itself has different types of pepper projectiles, um, again, which are extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, what I'm going to shoot today instead against our mannequin are these training projectiles, which are filled with inert powder. Um, so there is no 
uh, pepper in them. These are obviously just for training purposes. What does it say here? Filled with inert powder, cost-effective training, not for use against humans. Good thing you're not a human, buddy. Um, so I'm going to shoot these and let's see what kind of cloud they produce and how effective they would actually be against a human. Allow me a quick thank you to Kimioc or K-M-I-O-C, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. The brand that makes these heavy duty leather gun belts. Uh, they sent me this one to show you guys. I really like it. It is super rigid, uh, which gives you a true resistant feel. And it's very, very solid for any gun holster. It's not at all expensive, and I'll be putting all the links uh, down below in case you wanna have a look at it. All right, guys, I'm realizing how long this video is, so I'm going to cut it right here. I wanted to kind of go over as many details as possible and to kind of get them out of the way in this video so in the next ones we can go straight to the action. And I'm sorry for not having done the chrono test in this video. Berna says that this right here is a 16 joules launcher and based on these few first few shots that I took today I can pretty much confirm that uh, the feeling I had and the damage we saw is very much consistent with the HDR 68 16 joules uh, for example and as you've seen over and over uh, down here in the South Florida heat that number can often go up to 20 25 joules. Uh, anyway, I promise that we'll get into that data and those numbers in the next video uh, where I'll also be testing this gun on some ballistic gel sent to me from Clear Ballistics. Guys, unfortunately, I won't be posting next week as I'll be up in New York on a long work trip. Uh, but I'll do everything in my power to be back here the following Sunday. But do follow me on Instagram. Uh, if I remember, I'll try and post some stuff from the Big Apple. But from us here at Ergon Alley, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video. And for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you at the next one.